Hello everyone. We have been playing around with multiple publishers, subscribers, topics, messages, and so much more. What if there comes a situation wherein we have to actually record some set of data and then play it again at a later time? For instance, you are playing around with a robot in a field or in a closed location and you cannot actually run your code again and again, but you need to collect that data and use it later on for pre-processing, post-processing, etc. This is where the bag files come into play for ROS. So over here, I have my ROS code running and I'm going to play three different codes over here. One code will publish image messages. This terminal will publish simple string messages and this terminal will publish for me a custom message that I had written and explained in one of the tutorials. So the recording is very simple. Let me open this folder in the terminal going into the back files directory and the command line to record a ROS bag starts with ROS bag record and then we have multiple parameters that come into play. So first of all, I'm going to record my required topics and not all of them. So to look at what is being published, I'm going to go ROS topic list. Come over here play these messages and ROS topic list. I have over here three different messages, charter, custom message, and image message. So I'm just going to say, let's record charter and custom message. Enter. My messages are being recorded and uh, I think that's all. Okay. So if I go into my back file directory, I have this new file created. This file is basically named with today's date and that time. The simple command ROS bag info with the name of the bag will give me what was recorded and for the duration. So for instance, if I see over here, my duration was 8.3. This was the start and end time which we can see and this was the ROS time. Similarly, I recorded the two messages, chatter and custom message. Chatter has eight messages because this is being published one message per second. Custom message has 84 messages because the publish rate for custom message is 10. So basically eight seconds and a simple math of eight or 80. So they, these were the two commands, ROS bag record and ROS bag info. Now, for instance, I have to record all the topics that are being published. I'm going to stop these codes. And similarly, I'm going to run them again. But over here, I'm going to add another parameter. ROS bag record dash A means all the topics would be recorded, which are being published. And with it, I'm going to add dash O. Dash O gives me the back files name. I do not want to get confused as to what date and time it is every time. So I am just going to say three topics dot bag. Enter, 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 and enter. The back file started recording over here, which name, which is named three topics dot bag. And if you can see over here, it has subscribed to the different topics that are being published, even ROS out and ROS out AGG. I'm going to stop it now and let's just see what we just recorded. ROS bag info three topics dot bag. If you see over here, 18 seconds and these are the messages that were recorded. 18 messages, 180 message, 180 messages for chatter, custom message, and image message. Let's see. Uh, stop the code again. Perfect. So we checked on different ROS bag record styles that are already present. There are multiple different parameters you can check online because ROS bag is an important tool and it can 
actually taken duration it can actually split your ros bag into different time frames time stamp the buffer size so the list is huge now let's talk about ros bag play over here ros bag play and then let's say three topics dot bag if you see over here all my codes have been stopped so there is no instance of any of my python or c++ code being running right now if i just press enter the back file starts playing and if i go into raw topic list i have all the messages that were being published so that's image message custom message and chatter also so this ross back file was for 18 seconds we played it's done but i did not get enough time to actually look what was inside the message or was it even being published properly so over here there comes another parameter called dash l which basically plays this rossback file in a loop continuously so i do not have to worry about playing it again and again now i can easily go over here cross topic echo say chatter so if you see over here once it reaches 18 seconds it's going to loop back to whatever me message it first recorded so if you see over here it went on to 20 and then it started recording from 345 again so this was this is being played in a loop if i open let's say rqt image view to check if my image message was being recorded properly or not uh, changing the topic and here you go this is the image message that i was recording continuously and again, if you see over here, as soon as this reaches 18, it's gonna start again. Perfect, closing this. Another feature that I like about Rossback Play is the rate factor. So, and I personally use this a lot. There can be instances where you want to actually limit the rate at which a topic is being published so that you can actually debug with multiple print statements and command lines and stuff like that so to do that i have a simple parameter called dash r with a number after it this number is basically gonna help me in telling how many messages should be published every second so if i give over here 0.5 As you see over here, this ROS bag file is running according to its own time, but it will actually take 36 seconds to complete and not 18 as mentioned over here. So if I do ROS topic echo chatter again, one message every two seconds. Also, if you see over here, there is a custom message that is being recorded. So custom messages, cannot be played on any terminal they have to be sourced from the package so if i go on to this particular terminal from where i was running it source it ross topic echo and custom message and my message starts coming this is again at a reduced frequency i think that covers all of the ross bag command line tools that would be required uh, right now at this stage stay tuned robomatrix